as you can see, I have next to me a person that has shaped my style, has taught me so much. And if you are following me, you already know um, I'm having next to me. I'm having the honor to have next to me Madame Caramel. Ah, oh, thank you very much. Thank Mrs. you Sarah. very much for yes. accepting my invitation, thank and you thank you inviting. very much for being here in Bucharest. Oh, I love Bucharest. <laughs> you know, it's my fourth time, so yes, oh yes, I know. I'm enjoying Bucharest, and then thank you for having me too. Yes, and a true honor. And I think uh, I'm not speaking only for myself. I'm speaking for everyone. It's so. It's always a, a, a blast, an honor to be next to you. And all the time, you have so many things to teach us. Oh, thank you. <laughs> not only, you are such a motivational and inspiring woman. Oh, thank you. That's so nice. that's why I thought it's such a, a great thing to have you here and to give you this opportunity to share, because you have a lot of <laughs> I know Do that. we have enough time? <laughs> uh, we have enough time. Like, we yes, need the time. You yes, know. of course we do. We do so, indeed. how are you? I am very well. I'm very well. I travel yesterday, um, resting on a beautiful hotel in, in Bucharest. I'm looking forward to meet also the other ladies. Of course, it's always an honor to be also in your presence. You know, we've been friends now for a very long time. Wow. We spent a nice quality together, traveled the world as far as. Uh, even to the Middle East uh, together, and uh, yeah, I thank you very I much. I miss those times. I really miss those times <laughs> in our party. You don't know, but we party so hard when we meet in Dubai. <laughs> Unfortunately, <laughs> because of the pandemic, uh, recently we haven't managed to synchronize each other. But yes, yes. We'll have time. So we'll have time, you know. We, we party hard, but we also work very hard. You sure. know that, you know, mm -hmm. so the primarily we work. And then once we have time, and then uh, we go... Very dancing, you know? Oh, uh, yes. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> our Arabic clubs, etc., etc. Oh, I love it. You know, I love it. And you're such great company as always. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> but what I want to, um, because I know you, like you said, for so many, so many years, and I know what a great woman, first of all, you are, and then person, and so much more than that. Yes. There is so many layers of you that people don't know. Mm -hmm. And people would be so, um, I rephrase, would be so beneficial for people to know about you because mm -hmm. they would mm -hmm. definitely uh, learn a lot. So that's my idea of this mm -hmm. channel, to teach people, to educate people, and why not to inspire people? Yeah, sure. So I tell you a little bit about uh, myself, you know, I go by the name of Madame Caramel. I was born in Africa, I've been raised in Portugal, I am a mother of uh, an adult, uh, beautiful girl, you know. I am engaged to be married with my lovely Joris, four weeks to go. Okay. <laughs> four weeks to go. I've been a professional dominatrix for almost 18 years now. Um, I'm also a lifestyler, I do BDSM classes, I travel the world with my domination, I, you know, have other businesses, you know, some are successful, some fail, and, um, you know, I'm just, I'm just a normal person like everybody else, but I'm just like a, a workaholic, I like to work, you know, not, at the moment, not, not, not really, you know, because I'm kind of going to the semi-retirement, so I'm just taking a lot of time for myself and mm. teach other people and just kind of enjoy my lifestyle now. Yeah, lovely. That is that's, that's, a, that's a great thing. Mm. And um, I, you actually just uh, respond to one of my my questions of who is the woman behind the, mm -hmm. the image, mm -hmm. the Madame Carmen, and you just uh, respond to that. Um, I would because you are doing so many things. Mm -hmm. I would start with, from where do you get all your energy? Oh, uh, <laughs> I am a, I'm a proactive person by, by nature, you understand? I think my pro proactivity comes actually from my father. My father was, uh, uh, was well, he's retired, but a very good uh, businessman in Angola, comes from a background of, um, of uh, you know, with a political background and then... Uh, yeah, that's I don't certain things I don't really want to disclose it's, much it's because fine. you know it's a little bit private. But um, so my father was a businessman. He had lots of business. So he had you know many eggs and many pies. Mm -hmm. You know in different no many what do you say many eggs in different baskets. Sorry, 
And then, you know, it always taught us that, not to rely just on one source of income, you know, to do kind of different things. So I, I'm always looking for the next hide, you know, because I tend to do the business that I can run by themselves. But then, of course, it comes a time that become a little bit boring, you understand? Know, okay. So I then I have to, <laughs> then I have to go on to the next thing. So you know, I love to have dungeons, I do the events, that etc. I have directories, I have this, I have the makeup business, I have you know. So I have to keep myself always entertained and busy. But now I'm actually kind of scaling down. I'm I'm, I'm a bit uh, uh, getting a little bit uh, older. Not not think it's no. a bad thing. No, no, no. I don't see age as a big thing. But I'm, I just want to kind of take more time for myself and enjoy my lifestyle more and, uh, you know, my business run to themselves. But then I cannot be just a housewife, you understand? I, I need, need more. So well, I'll see when I move to Portugal how, how long I can stay without working. <laughs> Knowing you, I don't think that will be <laughs> possible. Uh, the next question is, from where do you get all your inspiration? Oh, from, 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 from all of you, actually, as well. Do you understand what I mean? Because in the beginning, we don't have none of these Twitters. We just see some of the ladies from the magazines because I come from a different background, mm -hmm. style of domination, you know? And uh, we all just, uh, you know, when I started, you know, I see the, the posters on the phone boxes from uh, in London, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yes, okay. way, wow. way, way, way back. And then and then it goes to the magazine, something like DDI or something like that. And I start seeing all of these ladies from abroad and of course in the beginning when you don't have a style you know you you know you take a little bit of everyone and until you mature to be the person that you want to be and then become you know the authentic self but I take I take the, the imagination from all of you from everyone I see things that you do I like the way the salad is maybe I can put a different taste to it mm. you know so I take inspiration from everyone everyone because you mentioned the beginning tell us how did you start it so how did I start it? Oh, that's a beautiful story. So I come from Portugal with my, my daughter with uh, basically 200 pounds in my pocket, uh, with no money whatsoever. I, the relationship that I had, it broke down. I decided to do a different life and I moved in here, here, here in London with my sister-in-law, etc. Et you know, fast forward like one year. I go to this, I was tired of being alone, you know, I said, I go to this website, it looks like it's very fun, it's called uh, Girls Date for Free, I don't know if it exists anymore. Oh, not. Yeah, but only, no, 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 but the website is just not, the, the, the thing is like, it's Girls Date for Free because we don't pay for the membership for the site, so the oh, men okay. pay for the membership for the site, and then, so then I was there and I found this lovely, I think was the first person that I chatted to, this beautiful Jewish man, that, um, you know, took me on a date and etc. And I start talking about uh, face sitting and stuff like that, you know. I, I don't have the story of being on the, the school and, you know, being a bully on the school. I, I'm a, a late bloomer when it comes kind of to domination, but it, it's always kind of been with me, but you just didn't know the terms. So okay. that's not what I mean. Mm -hmm. So when I kind of hook up with this person, the third date, you know, time to have sexy time, you know. Um, he just wanted the face sitting, and I, you know, in the beginning, I just thought, you know, sex sitting with a little bit of oral mm -hmm. pleasing and etc. No, but he just wanted the full weight of my body on his face, and I can, you know, just wanted that. And he would get off, and then I'm like, you know, but what is this? Then we are not pretending, <laughs> you know, but what is this? And then he explained, oh, he's a submissive man, but he's really into, you know, and I think, mm -hmm. oh, face sitting. Then he started giving me books, my get sign. I was reading all of that. Oh, it's like the day that my life unraveled because. I was just so, oh, it has a name. Do you understand what I mean? I had past experience with past boyfriends that they call me a weirdo. Do you understand what I mean? So I didn't really want to engage really in the same when I did yeah. something because I thought it was incorrect. I come from a background when my family is very uh, Catholic. I was in church all the time and et cetera, et cetera. So it was a little, little bit guilty in there as well. But then that man opened me another window and then he pointed me into a mistress that I longer probably for 30 years, Mistress Dion, which I relentlessly messaged her to, you know, to give me an opportunity to train me. And she always said no. And one day I said, mm, let me change this path again. I just kept bothering. She's a busy woman, you know. Right. I went to honor, bought like a PVC dress, you know, with some a pair of pleasers or something like that, you know, one of my beautiful wigs. I took a nice picture, you know, I have beautiful... Mm -hmm. A perky breast, you know, much yeah. younger then as well. 
and I took a nice picture and I sent it to her because she has a domination and um, a, a personal service uh, house. Yeah. She has two businesses. And when she saw the picture, she thought, oh, that's a good addition to my dungeon. And I went from there just working with Mrs. John um, every Thursday. And uh, we made a lot of shit of money. Do you understand what I mean? Because at that time, it was back to back, back to back. And now I was the new girl. Mm -hmm. You know, it was really, really amazing. It was like this beautiful dungeon and a, a Pentoville Road in King's Cross and a basement, two entrance. One, la one side is for the ladies that do personal services and the other side is for the domination that we have the dungeon that's at the bed. And then we all get along and that's etc. And then, and this is how we started. But then we, within six months, Within six months, I, I'm a person that I'm very independent and I'm a very critical thinker and I decided to, I want to venture out on my own, do you understand what I mean? I don't want to be on a domination house right. anymore because then at some point, you know, people smoke inside, it's just like, you know, you know spread your wings and... Yeah, exactly. And then I found this gentleman that he made me a simple website, you know the websites from before, mm. and purple yes. and fire and... <laughs> But that was what it was achieved, achieved the purpose. I put myself out there and I want to say to the ladies, you know, I started with two outfits. Do you understand what I mean? I started with two outfits and you don't have to be ashamed that you don't have expensive clothes. Oh my God. And etc. Oh, et yes. et I have two outfits, you know, one pair of shoes. The good thing is I use wigs so I can change my look. And then I just built from there. When I put my website on there, I was swamped with bookings. So I think that time I should just charge like 160 pounds, you know, but that was the normal fee by then. It was already very expensive, but for the times, you know, so then I just spread my wings and I just, um, until actually recent, when I say recent, maybe five years ago, I was in my club night, to club like we, Mrs. Young did that speech that she said, oh my God, the way these women flew, you know, and just to reiterate, when actually I got Mrs. Dion, and she's going to act as that because she said the same on the, the, the dungeon. She never trained me. She basically choking me inside of the dungeon with this, you know, this guy that was actually, is a judge mm -hmm. and like deal with him. Do you understand what I mean? I was shaking. I was, you know, I was really, really scared because number one, you have to understand I come from a background that I'm not an English speaker. So sometimes we're going to have bubbling here. Mm -hmm. So do forgive us. It's what it is. We speak other languages. But she put me on a dungeon with this well-spoken English man with his voice. I was quite intimidating. Quite intimidating indeed. But you know, in the end of the day, I just say, you know, we cannot Fuck swear you. here. Yeah. Fuck no, you it. Can't, you understand? You can't. Fuck <laughs> it. Just let's do what we're going to do. And then this man stayed with me forever. Forever, forever. Until he retired and et cetera, et cetera. And that is, yeah, that is a little bit of the story. Wow, what a story. The, the thing that you just said that you start with just two outfits and yes. one pair of shoes. Yes. So from here, it can be visible that you don't actually need too much equipment. You don't actually need to have a certain outfit to be able to be dominant. To be yes, of course to not. To embrace your true nature. Of course not. Of course not. It just basically, I went to oh, honor those office probably cost me 20 pounds each, you know, and I'm, I'm in the beginning of my, you know, career. I still have a little part-time job. I have a daughter to support, you know, right. so I'm not gonna, like I said to people, no need to invest so much when you're starting up. You know, as I go along, of course, mm. the interest will grow, the, you right. know, your fashion ideas will grow, and then it's right. unnatural. You're making money, you spend more money, and that's etc. But then it's not necessary. The domination, I think, comes from my mind, not for the outfits that mm. I wear. I can dominate anyone wearing rollers and flip flops. Do you understand? Oh my God. If I would be <laughs> able to have like a sign with this word, I would put it <laughs> on a billboard exactly in London. Exactly, for everyone to understand that. The outfit doesn't make the uh, the person. The outfit mm -hmm. doesn't make the dog. And um, I think I want. Uh, what do you think it was helpful to you? What it helped you to succeed and be the successful woman that you are now? Uh, perseverance. Uh, I I am. Um, I come from a background of of a very very good family. So I have been brought up surrounded by good things and you know. Um, yeah, let's just say it like that. So I find myself in a broken relationship with a child in my arms. Um, I, I moved here because I had a massive fight with my mother. So then I had to make a decision in my life. Oh, I stay in Portugal and, you know, be forever on my minimum 
wages or go and try something different in England and um, and go from there. So then I put it in my mind that I, when I come to England, I starved with my daughter. Do you understand what I mean? I absolutely wow. starved. You're going to make me cry now, Sarah. No, don't cry. You know, it's just emotional, but you know, it's, it's an emotional with, you know, I'm very proud of my upcoming. Uh, 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 Do you understand what I mean? Because I come from a good background, see myself detached from my family because I say I, I don't want to live with this anymore. You know, I came and work here, I started as a cleaner and I'm very proud and I put this on Twitter. I'm not ashamed to say that and I'm a fantastic bloody cleaner. That's why all my slaves know <laughs> how to clean very, very well. But from a cleaner, I ascended into a cleaning supervisor and then I became a cleaning manager, went to work for the council, had two schools under my belt with more than 200 staff. And some of the staff was actually, I brought all my family in, do you understand what I mean? So then when I start kind of doing the domination and I thought, okay, I secure all of these things, secure my family's, you know, future and my thing. I need to do that. But I was working as, you know, a cleaning manager in the morning, four o'clock in the morning, until 10 in the morning in the school, wow. and then doing domination in the afternoon until they find out that I see myself in meetings with the governors. And that, that luckily I was a member of a union and I end up, you know, being paid off to leave, okay. which I invest the money then to go to Hoxton, okay. to the Hoxton Dungeon Suite. You know, so there is lots of things that people don't know about me. Just think that we are, we are just lucky. There is lots of hard work. There's lots of tears because when this blows up, I have to tell my mother. I have to tell, tell my brother. Tell me about that. How was that? Because many of um, of the ladies that are, and not only the ladies, the many people that get into BDSM or. Um, discover their kinky side. They are afraid first to uh, explore it and mm -hmm. second to admit it because of this, of the fear of being judged by their family first of all and second of all by the society. Yeah. Tell me how was it for, for you? We will always be judged, sir. At the end of the day, as, like I said to people, we will always be judged. So you just have to do what is best for you and what you believe right. that, that is uh, that is for you. And I decided this is going to be my career. So then I have to, I'm going to tell my family because all the school is going to tell my family because they're going to end up knowing. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm going to have to tell them, you know. My mom until today, she's not happy with it. But okay. I have to, uh, she has to admit that I did a very successful career and everybody in the family benefits from me being successful because, you know, I push everybody to go forward, etc., etc. My, my oldest brother went, meh, I don't care, she understand what I mean, she's an adult, she does what I want. My two sisters, they don't quite understand, but actually they accept, they actually call me Caramella, they don't call me okay. by my name, they call me Caramella. <laughs> That's and, an interesting switch. And uh, etc. etc. et cetera. But the moment that I decided to, really, because it, I was actually forced to do that, you understand what I mean, that I opened the book, My Life and Revel, because then, of course, I had to deal with my mother. There was lots of tears. There was lots of misunderstandings because they don't really understand what is domination. Right. So we have to lie a little bit because, you know, there's things that I do that my mother might not fully agree understand. or understand. I can start play and stuff like that, etc., etc. But then I said, this is the life that I, it's, it's very profitable for me. I have my own time. I'm self-employed. I, I am independent. I can travel the world. So I'm going to do this for myself. I said to my mother, whatever you like it or not. I will do this, you know, and luckily my mother still, that she doesn't like that today, but she learned how to live with it, with my, uh, you know, like I said, I'm not the black sheep of the family, I'm the golden sheep of the family, the one that ran away, that decided so, to do their own thing independently, right, what right, people are going to say right. to me. So it depends on, on the perspective that you're looking for others, it can be seen as the black sheep of the family, while you are indeed the golden sheep. Exactly, you know, and then um, now they all know, majority of the people, the family knows, and then this just allows me to say, you know what, well, if I'm traveling to, to Dubai and I send no pictures, you know, we're inside of the hotels working, my mom is not going to take a pictures, otherwise she's going to ask me, oh, you went to Egypt, where's the pictures? And you are right. there sessioning and you didn't want to see the pyramids right. or something like that, because in the beginning when I was traveling, I didn't have time to go and see anything, only after the third trip, mm -hmm. then I said, oh, I need to go and see the Burj Khalifa, I want to see, right. you know, so I don't have these issues anymore, and I'm not just saying that people should just go and tell everything to their parents, but assess the situation, because once, once 
people actually know about you, provided that you don't have like a, a big other job that you work with children mm -hmm. or something like that. Da, 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 da. It's just best sometimes to tell the truth because then right. people don't have nothing against mm -hmm. you to use to dox you to etc. Right. etc. Et right. You know, so but each one to their family, of course. Mm -hmm. You know, you only open once you feel that. Even if they are that upset to start with, you can be reconciled uh, later on. Do you understand what I mean? So depending on your family backgrounds. All my brothers and sisters, they don't really care. They know, you know, when I'm sick and they have to clean the house, they'll find the wig there, the thing there, you know. <laughs> because the life is so open now, I can truly be myself as a woman, as a mother. And the first person to know was actually my daughter. But I only told my daughter when she became 16 years old. Okay. I sat her down, I explained what, she, what I do, and my daughter actually said, oh, mom, I actually saw a, a DVD, because I filmed once with one company that was done promotion, oh, and then wow. they gave me some, you know, some <laughs> DVDs to sell that I hid it on the wardrobe or something like that. So my, 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 my beautiful daughter said that, oh my God, she found the DVD, she actually put it on in the DVD player, but she just watched a little bit because she's, you know, she's mm -hmm. like a little man's naked and mum and like got scared. That's scared. Like, she got scared and she stopped. But <laughs> since that day, she she knew. Okay, my mum does something that's different. When I sat down with her, mum do you know the generation of today is so beautiful because yes. they're so open minded. Yes. Yeah. She just say, mum does whatever you want to do. My daughter is not on Twitter, and I, sometimes I just forget that she's on Twitter because I'm there with my partner <laughs> doing certain things. But she said, actually, mum, you're on mute. I don't see it unless you. You know, if you tag me from something, yeah. I don't go to your profile and that's etc. But it's just, just how is her perspective on all your activity, on all this world actually? Is she interested in it or how, how is it? Uh, interesting of film dom point of view. This is what okay. she's interesting, you know, and I'm the half film dom subject. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of know what you're talking about. But... <laughs> she enjoys the money, she enjoys the lifestyle, she really doesn't have nothing against and I brought her up to understand the sex work is work mm -hmm. and then what I do, I actually help a lot of people that you know that they come, you know, to, to be submitted, submissive, and etc. Et so she really enjoys the lifestyle. She grew up surrounded by maids and servants and etc. Et so you know, um, mm -hmm. within you know, with the reason, you know, so she's yeah, she's fine with lifestyle, she likes it. She, you know, I had sessions with her when she just sits there and laughs, you know, okay. you know but to, <laughs> once on occasion because oh. You know, I want your daughter, but she's 24 years old okay. of age. Now. Yes, yes, of course. I never did it when she was young. But uh, she would sit down in a session and just, just laugh, just, you know. And, uh, and yeah, but she had that OnlyFans account for some, some point, but she okay. has no... Uh, at, the, at that time, she didn't have no work ethic, even so that I tried to install my uh, views and you know you have to work hard blah blah blah, blah. she knows that she can always she will follow her own uh, yeah yes yeah, exactly and she has my mother's credit card so mm. well i think it's, it's very important for her as a, a young woman to have you in her life mm -hmm. and you um directing and supervising her because in these times it's for for girls especially mm -hmm. it's tricky Mm -hmm. We live tricky times, mm -hmm. um, especially with the with the social media that is full of censorship, full of discrimination, full mm -hmm. of this. You should be like this. Yes, you should dress like central. this. Mm. How how is it your perspective on, on Listen, this? Listen, look at me. I'm a beautiful and bigger woman. You know, I've been a bigger woman all my life after after my you know giving delivering birth. I have to find my own confidence within my body, within myself as a woman, you know, right. I, I, I am offended almost every day in the internet being calling names as the N-word or Blackwell, bitch this, you know, every day I have this type of thing. So I built something around me, in the beginning it really, really hurt me, but I had to build that thing around me that it really didn't, to not let that thing uh, upset me. So then I pass these things to my daughter. If someone offends you, you understand what I mean? It's not, it's not a reflection of you. Right. It's actually them that, you know, so I pass exactly. all of these, um, like the, all of the things that I wish to learn when I was younger that my mother taught me, I actually did to my daughter early, you know? And not just that, it's how to save money early, how to do everything early. Everything that I just kind of learned, thing, I teach everything now. So she's very, very independent. She's just left home. Mm -hmm. Even so, she has a house in London that is empty for her to be there, right. rent-free. 
she just decided, no, mom, I want to be independent. I know you're going to always to bail me out. Mm -hmm. You understand what I mean? But then I want my independence. I want to have my own apartment. I want to have my own thing. So, you know, yeah. That's, that's mm -hmm. very important to have the confidence of following your path, going on your own, and at the same time knowing that there's someone there just in case something happens will mm -hmm. come and, and rescue you. Yeah, right? and help, yes, So yes. that gives you a... And that's the job different. of a mother, isn't it? I'm not a mother, so I don't yes, know. Yes, but, yes, um, I know how it was because uh, just like... But you, you are an amazing friend. If I'm in my hour of need, Sarah, yeah, I, I know, know that I, I can know. count on you. I know. Do you understand? So right. The perception that the feeling gets okay. is the same as, and as women, we really need to, to, to stick together because we have a different understanding mm -hmm. of the world, we have a different experience, so... Right. So yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that uh, the women's society, and especially the femdom society, in my perspective, again, is my uh, personal view. Views, yes. Um, we have, if you want, the duty to teach other uh, women from mm -hmm. vanilla society that it's okay to be who you are. Mm -hmm. It's okay to um, like what your neighbor is wearing. You don't have to be jealous. You don't have to be, there is no competition between us. Mm -hmm. By contrary, we should support each other. Mm -hmm. First of all, and second of all, uh, especially within our community, because mm -hmm. now, um, again, I'm gonna go back to the social media and all the censorship that is going on, we are being uh, put on, on a wall with our- Yes, yeah, ostracized, that's yeah. the correct word, yeah. 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 So I think it's, it's very important for us to put our views out there and to show that there's more than mm -hmm. you can see on a picture or on a um, social media profile. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's a whole different world that and a person behind exactly. it. Exactly. And a person behind with feelings, it. with thoughts, with um, people should not be so judgmental when they see like a dominatrix or this or that, mm -hmm. but. But this is the world, there's nothing that really I think we can do. Some people will understand, some people will not understand. It's like we're having political views, some people right. with that side, some people with the set. But then of course we should be able to put it out there, you know, and for people really to understand what what sorts but but even them. Yes, but then but like you said, you know, social media when we put some videos like that on Instagram, they, they suspend and etc. etc. Yes. But I think we, we should actually have like a a, a really a real society or a sort of um, a union or I can't, um, the word is, is lacking of my vocabulary at the moment a kind of a, 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 a real um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for uh, a place that we all kind of register ourselves that okay. you know that we are like uh, uh, you know that we can actually put our views out there like to be able to sit down in parliament and say right. it's okay to have this job it's okay really to push that okay, I'm not the person for it no 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 <laughs> I don't want to be in parliament with anyone I but, would actually see myself in the parliament <laughs> yes <laughs> yes yes actually. you know my, my grandmother was a parliamentarian so I can't yeah so, so you are would, perfect you have the background so <laughs> in the parliament which you don't have the qualifications <laughs> I would be there perhaps at some point slap all the other politicians if I don't get my way with it I, I, I would that, apply I think that, that would be a good lesson for some of them <laughs> And I don't think mm -hmm. they will mind. So but censorship is, is is just the way that the world is going. As mm -hmm. it, instead of becoming a, a little bit more liberal, it's just becoming more uptight. And then with these credit cards and etc. etc. With these political and and the, the religious group that own the credit card companies, you know, they're closing the platforms. They're, they're, they're so they're censor, so so much that you can see that we can all. Mm -hmm loads uh, certain content and certain these you know you know what it's a freedom of speech we can do whatever we want and they're not allowed to do that what is the solution for it i really i cannot i cannot say that i really truly know it's just through discussion you know right. through communication is yeah. really all the time um i'm pretty sure you've done so many things in in your life and like uh, at some point you mentioned that you had some uh failures all, uh, also mm -hmm. um how did you cope with that? Because I'm pretty sure that there are vanilla or femdom mm -hmm. women out there that try to do different businesses, different uh, activities, and it didn't succeed. What is your advice on, on them, on that? And now uh, they are discouraged. Or Failing is the thing that will teach you the best, yes? No matter how you fail, you will hurt, and it hurts a lot, you know? Yes. And just an example, my thing with my makeup brand is not going so well, and I decided, okay, 
I'm going to close it because, you know, and for me, this is a failure. But I came to terms with that to understand, okay, I understand why I'm failing. Do you understand what I mean? Right. And this, for the next project that I'm going to do, I will, I learned a lesson not to do um, too fast, too quickly. You should pay more attention to certain details and etc. It's by failing like I learned. So I am not afraid of failure. I am not afraid of change. I am, I'm just not afraid. I do things that I want to do, even so that scare me. Like, you know, an example, you know, I don't like crowds. And then yes. imagine that, you know, I'm here anxious, going to, you know, we're going to be busy and, you know, but it's only with people that we like yes. and we, we know. So I mastered the courage to do the things that I'm most afraid uh, of. So failing is normal to fail. And by failing is when you learn. Uh, I will add to this, putting yourself out of your comfort zone. Always. The only thing we'll manage to do is to give you new skills and to learn more, first of all, about yourself, mm -hmm. and second, new information yeah. that you can you can try. Mm -hmm. So um, um, I want to do uh, like a comparison, if you want, between the woman that you were before starting being the Madame Caramel mm -hmm. and the woman that you are now. I'm talking about the woman. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's a big difference. Madame Carmel helped me grow as, as a person, as, as a woman, as a mother, you know, because I'm exposed to, to so many types of diverse people, men and women, you understand yeah. what I mean? And then uh, uh, the good thing about the lifestyle, we are dealing with intelligent, emotional connected, sexually charged women so i learned so much you know i've never been a naive person i always been very astute as a person and i yeah that is me as my personality but then uh, i when i want to see myself now i'm very proud of myself do you understand what i mean and i am i've grown i'm mature and we always growing and maturing yes. you know i'm not the same person six months ago even certain opinions that i had six months ago and then totally. once you take time to um, really digest proper things have changed and that's etc so i am the best that i can be now and then i am very happy most content with my life and my life choices and um yeah, yeah. was it something uh that femdom taught you personal wise to stick for, for yourself you know and be yourself do you understand because um it's like i said to the ladies it's okay in the beginning once you started you know you kind of see the, other, the way that the mistress talk, the maid, and the, and then we kind of tend to copy a little bit, you know. But in the end, you have to break the mold. And you said, no, I am not this. I am not, you know, because, you know, in the beginning, I, I tried to put like a more English accent to it, blah, 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 blah. But then at some point, I have to say to myself, you know, you're not English. Do you understand what I mean? And just, I mean, no offense to anyone. It was me trying to put in that persona. Mm -hmm. And I said, no. You are a beautiful African goddess. You come from a beautiful background. Embrace yourself. Embrace your thing, and be yourself. And then, and this is what I am. I'm the, the my genuine self. You know, I love to have fun. I'm just uh, I speak my mind all the time. And then, yeah, that is it, really. Uh, if you would to return to the woman that you were when you first moved to to UK, uh, what would you from this point? advise that one hmm I would say to her not to the, 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 I had a massive argument with my mother and I just within three days I packed my bags and I just left I didn't tell anyone you understand what I mean uh, that I would actually have sat with my mother and really had a, a proper conversation by then but I don't think I had the maturity to do that and another thing is but trust no man. Okay. <laughs> that, that goes deep. That goes deep. Should we get a little bit into this? Because I was actually about to, to ask if there's equality between men and women. Uh, in the world, there is not. In the world, there is not equality between men and women. You know, we want to make sure. But... I, I don't know who's the, the, the I think it's a philosopher to say that we, we, we should not be comparing ourselves to men because we are actually more important than men. Actually, we are superior in many ways. But having said that, people tend to comparisons like, you know, 
we, we have to have equality means that we also have to go and work on the, 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 the lift weights, uh, lift and, weights and something like that. But we, women, we bring a different kind of energy. Mm -hmm. You know, we are creators of life. We are, you know, we are superior by many, by many other things. Of course, in a normal society, we want to have the same level and the same mm -hmm. thing. But you know, I don't live a normal lifestyle. Do you understand what I mean? So in my society, in my household, I am the the matriarch. So mm -hmm. I I call the shots. I you know, and then I think my partner is very, very happy because he doesn't have to, you know, all of these patriarchal things. He doesn't have to abide for this, for that. And he's just happy for me to kind of lead the way and be, uh, and live the way we want to live. But basically. how is it? How is it to be a businesswoman, to be a mother, to be uh, a wife, a wife, to be? Um, inspiration for others because at this point uh, I would put myself in your shoes and I know that a lot of people are looking up to you and I assume that there is a huge responsibility somehow um, how is it to be you um mm, it's not easy at all it's not easy it's not easy but it's not easy but I don't know how to answer this you know I I am me what I do and I put it out there it ways to inspire others but it's actually also to um, it's more, I do it more for my for, for me as a person. You understand what I mean? I don't want just people to take, you know. I want people to be critical thinkers because you know I might have my enlightenment things and I do it like this and that. But it might not work for everybody. So you know, although the, lots of younger people and people you know that like me and I inspire by me, there is also a bunch of people that detest me that don't like the way I present myself or the way I am and etc. Et but then that's fine. It's like. Yeah. You know, if you are not being this life, you're doing something wrong. Huh? You have to ruffle some feathers. I understood this uh, recently <laughs> because I, I used to have, a, coming from a traditional background, Romanian traditional background, uh, in here is like this, um, if you're unconditioned, that you have to be liked by everyone. If you are, if there's someone that doesn't like you, well, you need to adjust that, you need to be on, on their mm -hmm. life. Uh, so I learned recently that it's okay not to be liked by everyone. Yes, it's exactly. actually a good thing not to be liked by yeah, everyone. Because we don't have the same and opinions. You're unique. Yes, we don't have the same opinions. We don't have the same values. We don't have the same thing. And friendships will come and go as you evolve. Because at, at 100%. some people are ready to grow quicker. Some people are not ready to grow quicker. There is nothing wrong with this. It's okay to move forward and, and then separate from other people and meet other people and continue to grow. And that's etc. There is nothing wrong or incorrect about that so yeah so but, I have the courage to let go because sometimes it's difficult to let go either this uh, situations people um, regardless it's it's okay to let go it's okay to change it's okay to do whatever you think is best for you if you want a situation that you're not happy that you are depressed that you are thing let it go change you know and also change the perspective recently in our last conversation mm -hmm. I know that it was a difficult point that I was um, and then talking with you, it helped me change my perspective. It helped also that I was in, in Dubai and that city for me is like a source of inspiration. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's how this um, channel um, show up from that discussion and mm -hmm. from thinking and from letting go of what it used to be it, and now yes, yes. indulging in a different stage in a different stage you know and trying new things yeah yeah because actually when we had that conversation i personally thought as your friend that you were a, a little bit on a dark place if mm -hmm. you know what i mean and i said you know this is a beautiful intelligent woman why she's mm -hmm. going to this perspective because you were still um, attached to things from the past yeah. and you know once you then you look forward and you say you know actually and sometimes this is why we need good friends that will at least try to advise us mm -hmm. properly you say you know, Sarah you might not like what I'm saying this to you but then shake it a little bit it's different there's different kind of people coming here now there's different yeah. kind of dynamic example if you are not willing to compromise and do the same right. you have to do something different you have to bring something into the game so mm -hmm. and it's difficult sometimes just to let it go of something that you're doing yes. the formula was working but the formula is not working anymore, so... You so how the to, world is changing, so you need to you, change. You adapt, also. you adapt uh, with these. That's things that I see, for example, in the internet. That I, don't, I don't know, I even... Today I had to ask Mr. Lorraine, Mr. Lorraine, what's Twitch? You know, because I'm reading the news and I'm talking... Two days about, ago I found out about Twitch also. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so then I'm like, it's like, I don't know, here, here, I have my little kind of people, you know, but, you know, I'm a woman in the world, I want to know everything, and etc. But then, 
only being surrounded with people with uh, that are willing it's, to be it's open minded. Very important the people that you have around you. Very mm. very important. And I'm saying this from my own experience and I, from what I've seen around mm -hmm. me. Sometimes you can be gold, but if you have mud around you, you will not shine. Yes, exactly. When you bring a, a, a um, when you bring a clown to the circles. The, okay. the circle, the, 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 a clown to a palace, the palace is going to become a circus. Right. Yeah? Totally. So, yeah. um, so, so, surround yourself, always assess the people around you, how they celebrate you when you are at your best, mm -hmm. how they react when they are at your worst, do you understand what I mean? Right. You know, because even so that you are having a, a, a bad moment there, you know, I kept pushing you. No, mm -hmm. you do that. Let the, do something else. Let's do right. it. Try different things and etc. And sometimes it's difficult to see something good happening when you are like in a dark situation. Mm -hmm. But then look at you now. Do you understand what I mean? You get that hurdle because you have a friend that's pushing you. And, and also it's, it's important what helped me is I gave time to myself and mm -hmm. I accepted like because I was also an alcoholic, I'm still am, but trying mm -hmm. to work on this. Give time to yourself. It's okay not to know everything. It's mm -hmm. okay not to be perfect. It's mm -hmm. okay not to have everything sorted out. Mm -hmm. Just give time to yourself, heal, and you'll figure it out. Yeah, Just exactly. life goes on. If something happened now that you might think is the end of the world, it's not, actually. It's just a stepping stone. It depends exactly. on the perspective that you. Yes, have. exactly, exactly. And then you just you just move forward. And then it's always nice also to have a plan. You understand what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know, working towards your plan. But you know, self care and prioritizing your mental health yeah. and your well being and etc. is really important. So that is something that I, I always learn. I'm in a moment that. You know, I do nothing. Sometimes I travel with Joris uh, to, with work. I'm just there uh, looking at him working. I don't want to do anything and etc. Because I'm just I'm just happy spending like two days doing absolutely nothing. You know, just absolutely nothing. But when I work, I'm working. I wake up early. I'm very you know thing with my my schedule, mm -hmm. and I have my plans. And I, I told in two years time I want uh, you know be in Portugal and do this and that. So I work for my plans. So yeah, you know it's yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, I'm pretty sure you already have thought about this, but uh, as an ending to this wonderful interview, mm -hmm. um, conversation actually, mm -hmm. over coffee mm -hmm. we have in here, the coffee, mm -hmm. though we, we've been so busy that we didn't Big try coffee. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what is, if it is, your legacy? What do you want people to remember you as and what do you want people to associate you with? Oh, that's really difficult. Um, I, I, I want people to remember me as, um, because I'm, I'm an amazing, an amazing dom graphic to the people that I connect with. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not amazing dom, you know, to everybody. Oh, I don't know what to say, you know, I'm going to ask Mr. Lorraine, you should help me with this. We have Mr. Lorraine in here. <laughs> we should, I don't know, just to remember as... No, you personally, you personally, what would you like to have as a legacy to... A woman that helps others, do you understand what I mean? A woman that helps others, because I, I put it out there that everybody, yeah, <laughs> thank you, that everybody that can come to me at any time and ask me for advice, you know, if things are not going well, you know, not putting big heavy problems on top of me, do you understand yeah. what I mean? But I am a welcome to any woman, dominant or not dominant, and you know, companion or whatever, to, if they need an opinion for someone that's been in the scene for a long time, you know, they're most welcome to come here. I've touched my fingers to so many people's lives, do you understand what I mean? And I would like to continue to do so. But, um, uh, and, and that I see, yes, a woman that helps others. And an advice, from you for women out there? Uh, live your life in the best ways that you can. Be less judgmental of yourself and of others. Uh, be critical think, think, thinker. Don't just go for what people say about others. Do you understand what I mean? Make your own assumptions, make your own understandings and just oh, live a great life. Yeah? Right. Thank you very much. You. I have to be like this. I know what I feel like. like hugging. <laughs> we no, never no, shake no. hands like no, you. Know, like so polite, we look like no. we're in our white house. <laughs> <laughs> which, you can do this as a bloopers. Which, which position do you want 
to be. <laughs> uh, ooh. <laughs> um, I want to be Barack Obama then. <laughs> okay, then I'll be Michelle. A white version of Michelle. Lovely, so, wonderful. I'm ending in here conversation. Hope you pay attention. You have to follow Madden Caramel. Where people can uh, can find you? Oh, they can find me on my Twitter. I don't have Instagram anymore mm -hmm. because I, I have enough yeah. of being suspended. So my Instagram is at Nubia Matriarch. And um, yeah, you find me. You have on... only fans. You have loyal fans. fans. Uh, yes. So uh, like all the information can be seen on your website. Yes, yes, all on my website, all my Twitter, all my Twitter What's accounts. What's your website? It's madamcaramel.com. So everyone, go and check madamcaramel.com, and I will see you on my next conversation. <laughs> Bye now.